I love this book. This is a terrific novel. Um, I'm fascinated by Sam Spade and Bridget O'Shaughnessy. This book, contrary to what most people think, is actually about character rather than about plot. And let me explain that a little bit. Um, Bridget O'Shaughnessy is in the very first scene. She's, and she shows up and she's already deceiving Sam Spade, the detective. She shows up not as Bridget O'Shaughnessy, but as Miss Wonderly. And it just goes on from there. And this is a woman who, on the outside, is just fantastically beautiful and is just rotten to the core on the inside. And what happens in the course of the novel is, is that Sam Spade works his way through the different layers of her character to find out what she is really like and finds out just how rotten she is. But unfortunately for, for Spade, at the end, he finds he's also in love with her. And what happens is, is that at the end of the novel, he has to make a decision. And at the end of the novel, Sam Spade knows something more about himself than he did at the beginning of the novel. And what that is all about is character. What he has to decide is, is, he's, is he going to let Bridget O'Shaughnessy go, or is he going to adhere to his essentially his code, his ethics. What this establishes is one of the ongoing conventions of hard-boiled detective novels. And that is, is um, what's important here is not whether or not the crime is solved. They don't, who done it really is not the point here. In uh, Michael Connolly's uh, words, uh, uh, I think a legitimate successor to uh, Dashiell Hammett, uh, he says it's not um, it's not about the the effect that the detective has on the case. It's more about the effect the case has on the detective, and I, that bottom line is about character, not about plot. And I love that about this novel. This novel established several of those kinds of conventions.